So this is an EC or a TDS meter. I'm gonna explain what both of those mean, and then I'm gonna go over how to actually use one of these to get your measurement, how to read your measurement, and then how to check your measurement against resources to determine whether or not you need to raise or lower your nutrients. So first off, these come in all shapes and sizes, and I'll link up a few of my favorites in the description box. I also have my Amazon affiliate store. You can always check out and go find some really great tools. EC and TDS. Well, that represents two completely different ways of measuring the nutrients in your water. Let's start with TDS. That stands for total dissolved solids. And this is a much more basic approach as it's just measuring the parts per million in your water. In other words, it's measuring uh, the amount of particulates in your water, or how dirty your water is. This is used a lot for measuring like tap water. So EC stands for electrical conductivity. And that's gonna be measured in millisiemens over a linear centimeter. If you look in the bottom of your meter, you'll see that there are two small poles sticking out. And what this meter does is it measures the amount of electricity that can be conducted between those two poles. That's gonna tell the meter how many electrons can travel between the salts, the nutrient salts, and the water. So therefore, your EC is gonna give you more information about the quality of your nutrients. So I actually don't recommend using one or the other. I use both of them. My meter, when it turns on, it starts off in TDS. So when I put it in my water, I get the PPM or the parts per million. And then when it's done reading, I pull it out and I'll hit the mode button to switch over to the EC. And that gives me a reading of my electrical conductivity. So I like to use them both together, especially when I'm keeping my log. Now, how to use the actual meter itself and a couple little stories tips for you. To use one of these meters, it's really fairly simple. Uh, all you're gonna do is turn it on. It doesn't have to be in the water to turn it on. And you should see a zero on your screen. And it's, if it starts off reading the TDS, it'll start off by saying zero PPM. And then you can hit the mode button and that'll switch to US over CM. But like I said before, EC is actually measured in millisiemens. So this is microsiemens. What that means is we're gonna to have to do a little conversion to figure out what the EC is when we look at the charts online and we look at the reference guides for what our EC is supposed to be set at. Let me explain a little more. So when we look at our EC on this, we're getting the EC, the electrical conductivity, in the thousandth, but we really need it broken down into the tenth. So an easy way that we can convert this from the thousandth to the tenth is just to move the decimal place over three times to the left. Then you can drop those last few numbers if you wanna make it more simple on yourself and just stick with the first two numbers. That's gonna be the EC as you see it online and as you see it when you're out looking for nutrient information. Speaking of which, Humble Growth Hydroponics, I'll link a guide right here. I'll also put it down in the description box. So I've made nutrient guides that go over the amount of nutrients that you need to add, what your EC, what your TDS should be, uh, at the different growth stages, and how much of each one of your nutrients you should be adding. That is a free resource. You should totally take advantage of that at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. I'll link it up in the description box. And that's gonna tell you what your EC and your TDS should be set at while you're moving forward with your plants. Something that I recommend for all of your meters, your EC and your uh, pH meters, is to store them in about 6.0 nice, clean, distilled water. When I say 6.0, I mean 6.0 pH. And store them just up to the, uh, the top of the tip here. That keeps them calibrated a lot longer. That keeps the salts from drying out on the tip, so you're gonna get a much more accurate reading over time. So whether you're just getting into hydroponic gardening, you just bought a tower garden, you wanna fill out your entire house with indoor hydroponic gardens, either way, make sure you check out humblegrowthhydroponics.com as a great resource moving forward. I have a ton of free guides over there. I also have full masterclass series if you really wanna dive in, as well as some eBooks that are much more comprehensive that are guaranteed to steer you in the right direction. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this was helpful. Let me know about any questions you have down in the comments below and let's grow together. Thank you.